All right, how's it everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Bush Life Africa. Today, I'm going to be doing part one of a one to five part rig rundown of my truck. The reason I'm doing it this way is I always prefer to see like smaller clippets of people's vehicles than rather watching like a full hour of their cars. Plus it just gives me more content to post for you guys. So today I just wanted to explain more about my truck, the theme of it, how I've done things, why I've done things. Um, so it's taken me a while to, to be able to do this um, because every time I decide I'm going to do this filming, I uh, change something on the car and then I think well I'm going to wait to do that change before I film it. But I've come to a part of the vehicle now where I'm very happy so I'm going to be doing the filming. There are probably going to be changes in the future but maybe this will be like the base platform and from there I'll add to these videos as we go. So yeah, basically just a little bit of information about the truck before we get into, you know, parts of the build. Um, I'm going to do it in a couple parts. Like I said, I'll do the front, the back, the sides, the inside, um, and then maybe like inside the canopy. I'll decide how I'll break it down, but we'll, you guys will see it as I post them. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you know. So my truck is a Ford Ranger. It's a 2016 model. It is a double cab. It is the 2.2 version. Um, it's a six-speed a manual transmission 4x4 with a differential locker at the back it's an e-locker um, yeah really really enjoy my truck um, I had a Suzuki Jimny before this that was my first taste of 4x4ing I had been to tracks and stuff before with my friends that had various vehicles but um, yeah what, what made me choose the Ranger after my Jimny was the look of the Ranger. I've always been a Ford fan as well at heart. I had my time with my Ford STs before this and my fast cars before I got into the off-road scene. Um, so yeah, I've always been a, a Ford fan I suppose and just really love you know what Ford has to offer I suppose. Um, nothing wrong with any other brands but uh, just personal preference I suppose at the end of the day. So yeah, you guys will notice through the videos there's a bit of a built not bought theme um, and where that sort of stems from is instead of buying something off the shelf that everyone can try and do things yourself um, and it will take your time but it will ultimately most likely or hopefully end up costing you a lot less than an off the shelf item obviously everyone's chasing a different look or a different style or you know whatever if you have more time to build then maybe you do maybe you don't but i chose this theme for my vehicle to show you guys um, that you can do things without having to buy things off the shelf all the time and you can do things at a fraction of the cost um, some of my stuff's really nice in my opinion some of it's not and um, I'm by no means a fabricator uh, it's just something I decided to do with a group of my friends um, when we first got the car I wanted to build something different and this is what we have today so like I said as we go through the videos you'll see where I'll talk about things um, and yeah, don't be afraid to spend a little bit of money trying to do something yourself um, versus spending a lot of money and obviously getting, you know, that product. Uh, again, it just all depends on your needs and wants, I suppose. I wanted something different. I wanted to spend the time building it with my own hands, getting involved with the vehicle, trying the things. So this is the end result. And like I said, at a fraction of the price. I think all the bar work on my vehicle cost me like 15 grand three years ago now four years ago so you can see there's a big difference um, in price so like I said we'll go through everything together um, and we'll talk about all those things but yeah, enough of me rambling basically you'll also see in my vehicle there are lots of brands that I've associated with myself with over the years if you guys have been following me on Instagram for a while you'll see that I've been with a lot of the brands for a long time so you haven't seen a lot of brands changing and jumping around which is something that I've always noticed with other people that I follow. If you see people changing often with no real reason, um, that's always a bit skeptical in my opinion. However, you'll see that I've been with certain brands for a long time. And if I've changed from a brand, it's because I'm trying a new product or it's a totally different product from the previous one and that brand doesn't offer that product, if you see what I'm saying. But yeah, if you guys ever have any questions about the products that I use, please don't hesitate to uh, inbox me and ask those questions. But um, yeah, these are just the things that I use and have tried and tested over the years and uh, I can give you that positive feedback um, of those products so you guys have an honest uh, and open opinion and view on them. 
So yeah, I don't really know what else to say in this startup video. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and keep each video to about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, maybe 15 at the absolute max, who knows. But yeah, like I said, it's just nice to also document everything and get it down on a video. Because if there are changes, you can always go back and see. So I hope you guys enjoy this mini series, if you want to call it that, that I'm going to put together. Um, I'm quite excited to show you guys. A lot of them will be filmed at my house in my driveway, unfortunately. This is the time that I have to film. Uh, I like to try and enjoy my time when I'm out on a trip uh, or an adventure. So you'll see a lot of photos, but I don't really have the time um, to do the filming. I, I probably would, but I don't want to make that time. If you see what I'm saying, I'd rather enjoy my time out in the bush. I think this year I might do an active more uh, actively try and do some more filming but we'll start here with the series first and take it from there so yeah thanks guys i hope you do enjoy and um yeah let me know in the comments below what you think or check me out on instagram or facebook and uh yeah i look forward to hearing back from you guys thank you